we've uh, heard many uh, very um, moving examples of the suffering that is occurring, and um, we are also inspired by the generosity of uh, neighboring countries, Turkey, uh, Jordan, and Lebanon. Um, if we uh, um, estimate the cost of this generosity uh, for Jordan alone, it's been uh, $2.7 billion a year, and for Lebanon, $1.6 billion a year. And we now know that the, the, the debt-to-GDP ratios in Jordan have gone up to 91 percent, and Lebanon, 138 uh, percent. Fundamentally, this is a, not a sustainable situation. So I'm very pleased to be able to announce today that uh, our board of directors, uh, in working with our management um, uh, to provide right, uh, an extraordinary measure, which uh, we, we have done this extremely rarely, uh, $200 million in direct concessional financing to create jobs and increase access to education in Lebanon and Jordan. And separately, uh, we've developed a Middle East and North Africa financing facility uh, which we're launching along with the Islamic Development Bank and the United Nations uh, that aims to raise $1 billion of grants from donors. And these grants will then leverage an additional 3 to $4 billion uh, of concessional financing, again, for these two countries. Uh, in addition, we're pursuing guarantees to open up space on the development, on, on, on development bank's balance sheets. Uh, uh, and uh, in addition, we will issue bonds, which will provide additional financing for recovery and reconstruction programs in the region. These new financing initiatives, combined with our existing programs, uh, will total approximately $20 billion over the next five years, which, which uh, represents a tripling of our investment in the region from the previous five years. And in addition to, the, to, the Middle East, to this Middle East response, we're supporting uh, Turkey as well uh, in, uh, in several different programs. Uh, we're doing everything we can and trying to be innovative. And one uh, example is, uh, the, uh, is, uh, has been led by Prime Minister Cameron. Um, uh, along with uh, His Majesty King Abdullah, uh, we began discussing in September how best to create jobs for both Jordanians and Syrian refugees. We're exploring the creation of special economic zones and encouraging investments in municipal projects and labor-intensive work. Uh, we are focused on creating mutual benefit for the host communities as well as the refugees. Uh, we feel that uh, the, the creation of jobs, the education of children, and providing economic opportunities for both Syrian refugees as well as their generous hosts in Jordan, Lebanon, and Turkey uh, is, a, is the very, very top priority for our organization uh, and for all of us working together uh, to respond to the humanitarian challenge uh, that we see in the region. Thank you.